Hey guys, your band Joe came around just to find out that you need to know. Um, I had this vision a couple of days ago, but I kind of hold it off for a little bit. Um, I think now it's time to talk about it. Um, in this vision that I had, um, I see four people, but you know, um, it was, I believe that it was the Father and uh, Father God, pa uh, Papa Yahweh. The son, Christ Jesus, me, and my fiance. Um, the father, the son, and me were looking straight. But I see my fiance. Um, she had her arms crossed. And she was looking either, I think it was like at her right side or something. Like that. So, then I believe um, she looked at me saying that, you don't love me, you don't love me. You don't love me and you know stuff like that um then i see like a bunch of people that are like that I, but i also see the father and son um and i see like a couple of other people with their you know with their wives as well a couple of men with their wives as well um then I believe that the spirit of the lord was speaking with me is that um when me when the father the son and me we're looking straight. He explained to me that we are both in an agreement. And I asked her about I asked him about um about my fiance. Um what why she had like her, she had like her arms crossed and her neck turned this way. He told me that that's stick he told me that that's a stiff neckness or stiff neck. Um and what he told me, uh the and you know, he also told me about the other people who tell me telling me that I'm not alone in this. So there's other people as that like that as well. Um He also told me that um the marriage cannot work if one it's pretty much you know, if the uh marriage cannot work if one is not if the wife is not some marriage cannot work if the if the wife is not submitted to her husband. Likewise, um, marriage, like husbands, your marriage cannot work unless you love your wife. Love your wife. And I know some of you might be saying, Joe, um, what does that particularly mean? From my experience, you know, I'm not married yet. Yes, I'm getting married soon. Okay, I'm getting there too. It is, it's, it's, it's a little bit, of, little. I'm having a little challenge in my end, but it's going to happen one of these days. Um, but I would say is that to have patience, um, have mercy, have patience and mercy on your wife. I know that your wife may be the crazy one. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. This is a serious matter. Um, but this may be a serious, um, matter. Yes, I do believe that just as, you know, what the, what the word says, husbands love your wives as Christ loves the church, where, you know, Christ has mercy on his people, have mercy on his children, not just, just his children, but people in the world, and you should also have mercy on your wife um, and mercy, and don't be harsh towards her. I'm learning, look, I'm learning as I go, okay? Um, yeah. I know somebody say, what about the wives? You know, what else? you know, this avoid trying to become stick enough. Just remember that in order for your marriage to work, you must submit to your husbands and husbands must, you know, love your wives. Oh, oh thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me. Um, the reason why he also said that um wives want to want you know, wives want want their husbands love but without submitting to them. So I'm guessing that there's something that's going on in people's marriages, like where wives, you know, they just want the love of their husbands, but without submitting. Or you know, you pretty much as an example, like somebody like washing dishes, you know, or or whatever, or well, whatever it is, you know, it's, or just something simple, you know. If you know, if your wife have an attitude towards it, then you know, and if she's like. Ugh. Oh, oh my goodness! No, I'm not gonna do this. You know, that, that's that could be stick neck. Stick. Is it stiff? Yeah, stiff neck. Yeah, stiff neckness. I don't know if that's a word, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, it's your man Joe.
repent, just as, just as, just as I will repent as well. Repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Yeshua HaMashiach your personal Savior today. Please be washed by the blood of Yeshua. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. Prepare for the rapture. Prepare for Yeshua's coming. Prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Prepare for the seven-year tribulation. And prepare for the great white throne judgment. And prepare for the Rema judgment. Um, so it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video. So, okay? Alright.